Boy, have I got an exciting fighter to use today. Rampage Jackson in the light heavyweight division. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Thank you so much for checking this one out. Today, we'll be boxing with Rampage. I am really excited about this one. Rampage has been buffed, specifically his boxing, um, because of his jab. He had a level 1 jab animation at first, but that has been changed. I believe it's been changed to a level 2 jab animation. It looks better. He feels a lot better. And I've also been working my boxing. And who better to showcase some boxing in this, uh, in this game than using Rampage Jackson. So let's do this thing. We're facing Gustafson for the first fight. Touch it up. This man is already leading with kicks. Looks like we got ourselves a kicker. Oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> Forget you can't lunge these front kicks. Damn. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. The goal is boxing. Let's keep it clean. Remember to use head movement. Rocked. Rocked again. Dropped. Yeah, baby. Rampage is so powerful in this game, man. Of course, not as powerful as uh, Anthony Johnson. Caught that one. But my man still got hands. Lag spike. How about that shin? I see this man slip into his right. Watch out for that left hook. You see that? The left hook and the right hook should do damage. There we go. Dropped. Yeah. Left hook, and the fight's done. It's over. It's over. There you go. There you go. That is exactly what I expected. You know, man, when I'm done with Rampage Jackson, I want to run around here with uh, Anthony Johnson. Because the power I just felt right now from Rampage is incredible. I want to feel the same power from Anthony Johnson, except it's going to be a lot more power. Because Anthony Johnson is running around with 99 power. Rampage is rocking a 94, but of course it's 94 plus his heavy hands. I believe it's a heavy hands level three. You do not. This is not a man you want to be exchanging in here with. So, first fight of success. That was good. That was good. That was quick. Let's get another fight. We're facing Gustafson again. Of course, Gus is quite popular in this weight class. He's tall. He also has the best boxing in the division for sure, hands down. Really fast hands, nice fluidity. And not just boxing, he also has a lot of the same strikes that you've got guys like John Jones with. You know, he's got the sidekick, I believe. He's got the spin to the body. He's got the knees and elbows. He's got the spinning elbow as well. Gus overall is just really good. Touch it up. There you go. Head movement. Let's use that head movement. There you go. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Big punch with the right with fight ending intentions. Really missed with that right hand. I've been really trying to work my boxing. Looking to avoid that left hand. That has been a uh, a weakness in my stand-up game in this game. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Caught him with a punch. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. 
Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Big punches. There we go. Put him on his butt. Put him on his butt. <laughs> he has taken so much damage, man. This is not good. This is not good for you, Gus. Establishing the jab here. This could be it right here. Oh, straight right. It's over. This is done. And he quit. Wow. What a knockout. Round man. one again. I am telling you guys, man. Rampage might be a hidden gem. He might be a hidden gem. I don't know. Then again, everyone's a hidden gem to me, honestly. So it's like, if I use you and you're good, you're a hidden gem. <laughs> Let's get an another fight. I'll be right back. For this lightweight championship fight. Now, this right here, this fight right here, I'm on the edge of my seat for this one. And uh, y'all better be on the edge of your seat for this one because this is going to be insane. We're facing Swizz, people. We're facing Swizz. This, this man is crazy. This man is insane. His style is... Oh my gosh, man. Be ready for this. Be ready for this. I'm going I'm going to get rocked a few times here. All right. Five rounds if needed for the UFC's light heavyweight championship. Beautiful job. He's really doing a good job. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't pressure him. <laughs> no. Switching stances here. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Damn, look at these hands. Oh, nice. Rocked. Yep. Uh-huh. And dropped. Already. Boxing, boxing. We got a box. We got a box. There you go. We got a box. He's in big trouble. I can't meet this man in the middle like that. It's not gonna work. Joe stance switch once again. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice. He's fainting with the punch. Oh, let's keep it clean. And now that jab starting to get established. How could you not respect him? How could you not respect him? Look at him. He's he's a scary guy to play, man. Oh, nice left hook too. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. This big hook shot there looked pretty good, Damn. but blocked by the defense. Oh, both men exchange. Dude, can you give me space Straight to throw right something? Over. Yeah, he's getting lit up and here. He a right hand there. Oh, there we go. He hurt him. He's got him hurt here. He leaves you very tiny openings in there. You gotta use head movement. Things sways. There, the there we go. Yeah. Keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Fainting. Oh, blocks the shot. Well, Joe. Mark him again. This big hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, uh, why do I keep leaning back on that? Okay, so left hook straight. No, 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 no. We slip. We slip. There we go. Thirty seconds to go. This fight is dangerous. Oh, never with a straight this time. First round winding down here. Round 
Good round. I'm telling you, man, there is no other player in this game that gives you the same feeling that Swizz does. Every single time you run into him, you know that he's going to literally pour everything out. How could you not respect that? You know, he's he comes for war every time. I love the guy. Like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. He lives by the Quentin gun Jackson and dies by it too. Awesomely powerful light heavyweight. He has huge slams, heavy hands, and some brutal grounded pound. Over his long career, he's been in there with some of the best and holds wins over Chuck Liddell, Dan Henderson, and Vanderlei Silva. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Bisping. Make no mistake, even though he's like rocking me and stuff, huge block there. he's the one taking all the risk. Like, believe that. He's moving forward. Right there, he gets rocked. And it's over. Yeah, see, like I said, man, he's the one taking all the risk. That's what I love about the guy. It's like, no matter what, he's he just high risk, high reward. That's his style. He's going to go out there. He's going to put everything on the line. If he gets you, he gets you. And if you're good enough to, if you're good enough to stop him, then good for you, but I know I'm I'm fanboying a little bit. I just I like the dude. I like the dude. I like his style. I like the way he approaches the game. You know, it's not my favorite style in the world, but it's unique to him. So I respect it. Anyways, time to move on. Let's do one more fight. One more. Be right back. This one's going to be good. <laughs> this one's going to be good because this is an, another high-level player, and he is using Anthony Johnson. Let's see what he does. Now, the, the thing about Anthony Johnson is, you know, as much as he can dish it out, I don't think he can take it as well as he can dish it out. You know what I mean? He gasses, um, and his health stats are a little suspect to me but let's let's see what happens touch it up boxing baby boxing they are throwing me in the gauntlet today we're facing everybody Beautiful stuff there. Once again, He's trying to bum rush me as well. Careful, dude. Look at that nasty jab. Rampage got hands. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh. There you go. Rocked again. Right it's only a matter of time. But he, if he keeps getting rocked like this. No. Throwing that jab, no good. That strike blocked by Chuck. That was a nice exchange. He's trying to get me to the cage and take me down. I know. Now nah, we're just gonna circle, bro. Straight punch gets through. Very nice leg kick there by Johnson. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gained respect. There you go. Now we box. Fainting. I don't care about the crowd. Y'all can scream boring all you want. But now the fight has started. This is a thinking man's game now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. 
Oh, nice job to get the goal I got to play that game a lot in UFC Johnson. 2. I don't play it often in UFC 3, but anytime it happens, I always welcome it. To go. Good round, buddy. So far, man, I will tell you, Rampage is surprising me. I mean, I kind of expected the, the kind of power that I'm seeing from Rampage, but he also feels incredibly fluid. He feels fluid like he has fluidity, like he's got the perk. You know, he feels really, really good. He feels really fast, even though his striking speed is like not even in the 90s. So I'm quite pleased with Rampage. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. I also watched... Quentin Jackson is an awesomely powerful light heavyweight. Hold on. He slams, heavy hands, and some brutal grounded pound. Over his long career, he's been in there with some of the best and holds wins over Chuck Liddell, Dan Henderson, and Vanderlei Silva. Johnson gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. My defense is tight, man. Like, I'm not... Oh, he, he, he caught me with that one. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing kicks now. We gotta be cautious of, of, of the kicks as well. I was kind of hoping he would just box with me, honestly. <laughs> See, now, right here, he caught that one. Good job. All right. All right, we, we're going to stick to boxing now. See, right here is where you kind of you expect a lot of players to start getting impatient, but... <laughs> Three minutes now to go in round two. He's fainting with the punch. You can't make dumb so mistakes, man. Approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly right there. He's trying to catch me with the uppercut when I go to the we'll body. He can continue with more activity here in round two. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Game of faints. A game of faints right now. Rock. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good slip on you, man. God, if I were just going for a right hook right there. Why did I go for an overhand at that point? Should have gone for my classic right hook. Beautiful right leg kick there. I think he was trying to go for an, a right uppercut oh, and threw a leg kick by mistake. The guard there and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. Try to establish that jab. That shot blocked by Johnson. Boxing in a cage with MMA Under gloves, people. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice shot to the body. Clean mm, shot. Maybe I could bait him into throwing a right uppercut, slip, and catch him. That'll do. Good round. You know what I mean? Because what he's doing is, every single time I lunge into that left hook to the body, he tries to intercept it with his right uppercut. Maybe I could fake or actually like commit to like a lunging lead hook to the body. And then when he throws that right hook, I pull back or actually I pull to the side and hit him with the uppercut. Maybe I'll try that. Probably risky, but we'll see. It depends on if he if he commits to it. No, 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 no. We're not doing that takedown stuff. Got him. You go in Southport to try to kick me in the body. Total 
several strikes. He got tagged there. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. How about that shin? Showing the punch. Look at that. He's timing this is danger down. zone, bro. This is danger zone. You've been rocked a few times, man. Defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he's badly, badly hurt. Just over three minutes See to now, in round three. the chances of this man coming back to win this fight are slim to none. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Really missed with that right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. They tried our body shot. Keeps going back to that. Oh! Again. This could be it right here. He's looking for that left. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward. Oh, he's Ooh, double rock. Double rock. He got his first rock of the fight. I don't like that. I was hoping to... Joe. Go through this whole fight without Ooh, getting rocked. To avoid that right hand. I'm not gonna get He's reckless. I don't care how ahead I am. Run. That's not gonna happen. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Well, again, he moves forward. Nice again. shot. Again, nice shot. Leaves the body wide open, and there is that punch again, Joe. What do you think he needs to do here defensively to avoid that fate moving forward? 15 seconds. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. We have done a great job with right, this, so fight. this fight. I know it was not as exciting as the last one, the last one against Swizz, but honestly right here, this is the kind of fight that I like to have. I also like to get this kind of fight to demonstrate something, man. A lot of times when players are ahead, they get reckless. You think that just because you're ahead, you can stay ahead. But if you're facing a good player, they understand that all they need is for you to make one dumb mistake and they capitalize on that mistake and put you on your butt. So no matter how ahead you are, you still have to keep things clean. Let's see who won. All three judges score the contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Quinton There you go. There you go. There you go. I really enjoyed this fight. Really enjoyed this playthrough. Rampage Jackson is incredible. I love what I felt today while using him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. I'll see you guys later with another one. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Against another contender in this division.